I just finished my 60th mile on my under desk walking treadmill and I thought this would be a good time to give a little review of what it's like having an under desk treadmill, what I think are the pros and the cons, and overall if I think it's worth it. So let's get into it. So I've been considering getting an underdress treadmill for a long time. I've been working from home ever since COVID started. I've kind of thought about getting a walking treadmill, but it's expensive. It feels like kind of a big commitment. So I didn't splurge on one right away, but I recently started a new job and I was like, hey, this is my opportunity to just kind of like reevaluate my office setup and invest in an underdesk treadmill. I actually used to work at an office that had underdesk treadmills. They had a few that were kind of shared by everyone in the office. And I would use that pretty regularly and I really, really liked it. So I knew that I would probably like my own walkie treadmill. Only about a month ago did I actually pull the plug and buy one. research on different brands and different styles of treadmills before I purchased one. I ended up getting one from Walking Pad. And the reason I chose Walking Pad is all of their treadmills actually fold in half, which I felt would be ideal for storage. And then the specific model I got, the reason I chose it was because it went all the way up to around six miles per hour. You do need to be careful about the max walking speed of these walking treadmills because a lot of them only go up to like three miles an hour or so. So if you want to be able to use a treadmill for like jogging and things like that, you you will probably have to pay more because that is a more expensive feature. So mine ended up being about $750, but there definitely are cheaper ones available. I'll link the specific model I got down in the description. Also, I paid 100% my own money for this. I'm in no way like partnering with the brand for this or anything like that. I do have just a generic discount referral link and code that I'll put down in the description. Feel free to use that. It will give you a discount if you want to go with a walking pad. But yeah, there's a lot of different brands out there. So I finished my first day of walking on the treadmill. I have to say, I kind of love it. And I feel like it lived up to my expectations. Like I feel like it's really nice to be able to feel like you're moving while you're working, kind of multitask in that way. And I actually find it helps me concentrate more because I'm forced to just like focus on what I'm doing. And I'm the kind of person I sometimes can get like antsy just sitting around. Like if I'm sitting, I'll kind of like want to walk around, like get some water, like stand up, sit down. So I really liked it. but. But yeah, I feel like it was a little bit annoying to kind of set up the whole setup and get it like situated. But overall, I feel really good about it. I walked pretty slowly. I walked for about an hour and I walked right around two miles. It was pretty easy to keep up that pace. It was like not physically challenging at all. So that was good. And yeah, on day two. So from my experience with the walking treadmill, I think there's two main benefits that I have found. Number one, I feel like it's very easy to sneak in a few extra miles and just add more steps to your day. Personally, I typically walk around two miles per hour on my treadmill. I find above that, then it starts to feel a little bit more active. Like it's a little bit more of like a workout zone. Two miles an hour is pretty much a sweet spot where I feel like I can easily walk that without really even thinking about it. So I can usually walk at that pace for about an hour before I usually will take a break. And if I do that for even one hour a day, I can easily add two miles to my day. My goal on most days is to do one hour of walking. So that would be two miles. But on days when I don't have a lot of meetings, it's easy to even walk up to four or five miles. So I think that's the first benefit. The second benefit is improved concentration. I didn't really expect this, but I find that having your body physically moving while you're working actually allows your mind to kind of focus more on the task at hand. I kind of equate it to having like a fidget spinner, but instead of just your fingers moving, it's 
your whole body. And I found that that actually really boosts my concentration and it allows me to not feel like fidgety or antsy. And it actually also prevents me from like frequently getting up or like walking around, which is something I used to do a lot with the walking treadmill, I find that I don't really feel the urge to do that because I'm already moving. So that's the second benefit that I personally experienced. That being said, it's definitely not all positive. And there were some surprising negative things that I found about having a walking treadmill. So the first thing is not really surprising, but it's the cost. So my treadmill costs about $750. You also are going to have to make sure that you have a standing desk that is really well suited for this type of setup. So I would really recommend having a fully adjustable standing desk because you're going to have to raise your desk even higher than you would when you're just standing because you have an extra few inches under your feet. So if you're not able to easily move your desk, it's going to be a pain to use this. So I would definitely recommend getting a good standing desk. The second negative that I honestly did not even consider before I bought my walking pad is the electrical situation. I have tried a lot of different fitness equipment. I have on my channel even, I have reviewed multiple exercise bikes, multiple rowing machines, a climber, mirrors, like all these different things. And I've never had any of them trip my circuit breaker or have any problems like not being able to get enough power from my outlets. So the first few times I tried to use my walking pad, I tripped my circuit breaker, even going like just for a few minutes and I found out it needs to have its own solo outlet to minimize the risk of that problem. But even then I still ran into this problem a few times if I went on higher speeds for longer than like a few minutes sometimes. So you're definitely going to want to pay a lot of special attention to this. So this was definitely my biggest unexpected negative of having an under desk treadmill. The next negative that I personally experienced is the noise. I would consider this walking pad pretty quiet, but even still, there's still kind of a humming noise. There's sounds of my feet touching this like walking pad, like whatever this part is called. There's that makes noise. There's different beeping noises. If you're someone who shares an office with someone, I would probably potentially think twice about getting this. And if you do have one, you may wanna use it a little bit more sparingly because the noise can be a little bit annoying. Like personally, I refrain from using this whenever I'm like on calls with people because I feel like the noise can be a little bit distracting. But if this is gonna be a problem for you, I would definitely do research on which uh, treadmills are quieter than others because I think that can make a big difference. The next negative that I did run into with buying a walking treadmill is just the storage. Treadmills can be really big and heavy. Even this model, I specifically bought this because it's foldable, but even still it weighs about like 70 pounds. So even the more compact treadmills are still going to be like 50 pounds, 70 pounds probably. And oh. It's definitely something you're gonna wanna keep track of when you're making sure to have room for this and is this something that will fit in your space. So all in all, I would 100% recommend a under desk treadmill. Personally, I could not see myself going back to not having one. I feel like if you have the space, the budget for it, it is 100% worth it to be able to be more active throughout your day. If you're someone who has a more sedentary job, I would definitely recommend it. Let me know if you have any other thoughts or questions down in the comments and until next time, bye.